Hey everyone, welcome to another tech video. Do you want to learn manual partitioning while installing Kali Linux or any other Linux? Let me help you learning manual partitioning while installing any Linux. For this tutorial we are using Kali Linux 2021.2. I am assuming you are already on partition screen while installing your Linux. While most of the users opt for guided use entire disk partition scheme we are moving ahead with the manual mode. We can see that we have total of 32.2 GB of disk space for our Linux. Select the disk and click continue to move ahead. Select yes to create new empty partition table on this disk and click continue. Select the free space entry and click continue. Select create a new partition. Enter any size. This will become your boot partition. I am using 2 GB. Its type should be logical. Location of the newly create partition should be at beginning of the space. As you can see this partition use should be x4 journaling file system. Double click on mount point to change mount point to boot. Your Linux boot files along kernel will be placed in this boot folder during the installation. Select done setting up the partition and click continue. As we can see on this screen we have created 2 GB logical boot partition. Let's now configure encrypted volumes. Click Continue. Choose Yes for writing changes on the disk. Select Create Encrypted Volume and click Continue. Choose the Free Space Disk Entry and Continue. Choose Done setting up the partition and click Continue. Select Yes to write changes to disk and click Finish. Choose Erase Disk with a Yes and click Continue. This may take couple of minutes. Done Erasing? Enter a passphrase to encrypt your Kali Disk. Choose any combination and click Continue. The next step is to, to configure the Logical Volume Manager on the encrypted disk. Click on Configure the Logical Volume Manager. Select Yes for writing changes on the disk. Let's create first volume group. Click on Create Volume Group. Name the volume group. You can use any name. I am using Kali Crypt. Choose the encrypted drive. Now we need to create first logical volume. Choose the volume group. We need to create root, swap, home, var and temp logical volumes. Let's first create root logical volume. Choose volume size. You need to repeat this for every previously mentioned logical volume. Once we have created all the five logical volumes we need to choose finish. You must be seeing the created logical volumes on your screen. Now we need to set mount points for these logical volumes created name home, root, var, swap and temp. Our first entry is home double click the disk size as shown on your screen. Double click on use as and choose x4 journaling file system. And choose mount point as home. Choose Done setting up the partition and click Continue. Same procedure will be used for root, var and temp. For swap choose swap area while choosing the use as entry instead of journaling file system. 
click done setting up the partition. We have successfully manually partitioned our disk for clean Linux install without any errors. Click finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Select write changes to disk and click continue. You are ready for your Linux installation. Installation will proceed like butter. Anything to ask? Comment it. Thanks for watching.